it's been a slow week so we're doing some pep talk a little bit of car talk about uh what the what we're gonna start doing here because uh i had a very slow week only had time to work a little bit on the 42 you really can't tell but i did some work on it but not in full because you know caregiver stuff got in the way nothing bad it just uh was a very busy week running around so uh, i'm gonna start prepping some everything of what he wants and we might as well just do you know something right here uh not much of a blog but of what we're just about to do at long at long last i don't know how many videos we said that but things keep getting in the way but we're at, well i'm actually now free starting this uh this coming week to do stuff that needs to be done it just uh I, man been wanting to grow this channel but it's been been slow so stuff on this uh the 67 mustang and um what else was there over here because i was going to start wd-40 on the bolts for the bumpers once i got it moved over there and once i got the kit car moved back yeah i want to pull that i'm thinking i would just bring that picker over here and yank that motor and transmission out and... yeah because i could just get a some junk wood put it down and just yank it out because it'd be too much to drag over there and of course don't want to any uh possible uh damage so just yank it over right here yep it's already half a car yeah i'm just gonna block up the front that way i can get underneath it and then yeah because uh for the new subscribers you know we'll recap real fast this is the kit car the engine and everything what's what liter was that what was, was it considered a 305 or a 307 oh i don't remember yeah i just know but, it's, a, it's it's a pretty fast motor. yeah that's gonna go down into that 56 uh custom line and uh whatever else is you know savable off of that you know we'll save and then we'll just gonna haul all off the the rest to the to a scrapper. Uh, we'll just cut up the car and everything that was in pieces. That way, I just go over and just you know just toss it out. Um, let's see here. But yeah, talk about this. What I'm about to do because I got to move that back. I got to clean up some stuff right here. Get some things off the ground. They got some stuff off the ground, but not enough. And then get this ready for the engine to be yanked out of. Well, yeah, engine and transmission. Yeah, that's just a 289 of that. Yeah. Um, Not going to go back in, though. No. I got something bigger planned. Yes, and we also need a whole new front, because we'll recap on that a little bit. Just recap, recap, and I know I'm not going to have no more health issues, because last year that got in the way of all entirety of November. So, so okay. Um, body work, uh, things to take off of this. What's the list here? Well, I got spare panels, back panels for it. I got a mm -hmm. spare door, which that right side door is pretty filthy. Yes. My oh. spare is actually really, really nice. Yes, have to figure out how to get this open. Um, once I get things positioned around, uh, may not be this week, but it'll be next week because I got to get stuff picked up. We're going to get into the store and we'll make a whole video on it. Try to push out at least two videos per week again. But uh, yeah, this car is about 98, 99% complete. Mm -hmm. um, panel work. Uh, what we want to do is, of course, you know, take the entire front off. Want to take the bumpers off. Even if the bolts break, we want to keep them back because everything's going to be original about this car. Possibly except for the engine because we can't find a hundred horse a pro year appropriate for this car anywhere. That's that's well, that's not junk or anything. Um, take the front off, and then um, next year you have your system to take it off the frame, sandblast the frame, paint it, go over the rear axle, the front end, uh, get all that stuff. Because uh, parts for the drivetrain is pretty reasonable. Yeah. And then um, put the body back on the frame. And then, well, once we take off the body off the frame, we got to check the, bo the body mounts. That's a must. Because uh, don't know where this car originally was, but it's kind of 
got some rust here and there and um panel i think what we're what we said what we're going to do this side first or the left side yeah but what we're going to do this side first since it was the most beaten beaten up that's that's just i'm just going to strip her down and then and just go from there okay um that one guy that we were talking to he does not want to make windows for us so we're gonna have to hunt around for a spare window i know they're out there but yeah you just need one for that side um he, he's i didn't look online yet yeah well he said he's gotten busy and everything it, it wasn't a bad deal in a way shape form he just got busy and he doesn't want to do it because he has to come out and do measurements and everything I, it is what it is probably just an excuse not to do it but i mean i'm just gonna say it has as it is but uh strip it down uh front and back bumpers off rock guards just bare bone start popping out any any dents and um compare this side to this side what needs to be bent straight and then uh fix the panel up so far and uh figure out what goes on gotta get a metal shrinker and uh just kind of go over the body more really um engine wise did you still want to do the original factory engine no Okay, so you want to do the 110 horse Mercury? I've I've been I've been it's been bounced around in my head if I want to put the put that Mercury flathead in this or put a Cleveland or something. Yeah, yeah, because this will be restored all entirely uh, original except for the engine. Because like yeah, I said, engine and rear end. Yeah, because we just can't quite find an a year appropriate engine for this. So so either that the 110 horsepower or a 351 cleveland four barrel and change the rear axle on this this was a three speed wasn't it uh yeah i think it was three speed on call okay yeah because well because there's transmissions out there for three speeds i mean there is transmissions out there to fit a cleveland and everything i said that wrong it's been a long day um Gosh, yeah, we're just kind of, it's been a long day for both of us, just kind of coming out here talking. Like I said, did some work here and there, but it's just not enough for a video. Been way too long of a week, and last week, the content that I had, I did not like it. It was worse than this, and I just tossed it. Let's see here. Um, This Mustang, let's see. <sighs> I got to yank the engine out of this. Transmission's good, I know that. But I'd still uh, say back two eighty nine. I mean. Oh yeah, I mean. Don't break it. Oh yeah, they made water. turbos for these or whatever it was that Ford did for the two eighty nines. No, because. Uh, I got something big planned for this. It's gonna. I think it's on this side. Well, you can kind of see the bad damage. Might be on the other side. Um. Let's see, oh yeah, right here. The entire front is like this. It's all no good. The rest of it's nice. Yeah, the rest of it's good. Um, except for the middle, someone kind of tacked it in. Yeah, I saw that part. So. But the rest of it. Um, I'm probably gonna have to borrow, well, I'm gonna have to put 14 inches on this, but uh, may have to borrow a rear axle off of something, a spare slap it underneath there <clears throat> excuse me in order to move it around and then get the transmission um well, we got we can measure those spare uh, rear ends we have piled up over there oh those are for the just to move it uh just to move it oh yeah we can actually use that ltd one yeah i can actually put a use to that to that darn thing until i get stuff off of it so uh so yeah there's a problem solved um I'll lean back right here let me think um because he knows what to build on this but the plans for this you know yank the engine out 
and then because we're going to possibly build something right here light because it's going to have to be moved over here somewhere. I still have to move the 55 Ford over. It's just been chaotic. So, gosh, what else is there to go over on this car to talk about? There's a lot of stuff to talk about where we're trying to, we're pulling at straws. We just don't know where to start or begin at. I already got parts list for it. Yeah. Okay, how about... How about this? Let's start with the engine wise. What do you want to do with this? Go ahead and get the same thing out that's sitting in that 420 or that 46. Oh, as there. the beast? Yep. Okay. So 351 stroker of some sort. No. Or 46. That's a that's a 427 with a 428 crank in it. Okay. 427 with the 428 crank. That came out with that big that five something. Okay. I can't remember the number now. I got it. that engine blueprinted and everything like that, so I know what to get. Yeah. So he'll mock that with this. It'll be a, like a type of Cobra build, almost, with this one. <laughs> like a... Well, he was figuring something out with a mock Cobra. Something with a coupe style. Yeah, um, I thought about researching those pipes, see what, how they fit. But. Okay. So you're talking about the Cobra pipes, but not yeah, the entire... Oh, okay, the entire so... Part. Okay, good thing... A correction there because I've said that a couple times myself so um roll bar system or no I haven't, I haven't thought that far yet on that one okay um gosh man it's I really should have moved this stuff off to show the engine but uh yeah, I had the 64 mercury grill there's a 65 galaxy trunk lid uh, 66 66 yeah i thought it came off oh okay yeah no it came off of, color, it came off of our red? big red okay yeah because i gotta put stuff back over to her since we saved right, it we got two red galaxies yeah 65 and 66 um gosh yeah the entire front off of cj pony parts I'm just saying that they're not a sponsor in the way shape or form um everything that's they have this car they got yeah they have engine compartments for big blocks because that's what he'll use um any other accessories moon visor mm -hmm. i don't know okay <clears throat> excuse me so gosh what else there's there's a lot of stuff to go over but it's just not sure what to really recap on because uh a lot of it we kind of want to keep you know hush hush at the moment until we get to it because this is this is the last bit of stuff until things finally get going i know we said that multiple times before but health like i said health issues got in the way other things got in the way and now it's kind of strange stuff is going to be worked on so that yeah that's why we're pulling that straw is because we don't know what to talk about because a lot of stuff we still want to keep hush hush on this on on this one here i mean all of them because we got more plans that we'll announce later on as we grow i shouldn't say not as we grow as we work on them while we grow or, or something i don't know been up for like 17 hours but yeah so um let's see here while he's over there this uh you really can't tell i've done some stuff um about ready to tackle the rear axle um um what i'm going to do instead of taking off one side i'll just keep it on as is but i'm gonna strip that over there entirety and then i'm gonna get cardboard and then i'm gonna cut it out start doing measurements and then do the cardboard over on a piece of wood from that side over to here and then whatever angles on that i'll mock it over to here because uh i don't know how much i'm gonna get far on on the cadillac but at least i'm gonna try to get uh reproduction stuff made for for that for from that side over to here and yeah, pretty much beating a dead horse at this time because you know how much I've talked about this car and Quite things keep yeah things keep getting in the way. Things keep getting in the way. I've been wanting to bring take totally take apart that Willie's Knight over there and work on the parts separately. Yeah, I gotta get that over here too. 
because uh, once I move the Roadrunners and a few others, I'm going to move the 55 over, and i got to figure out how to free up the wheels on the Willys night. Uh, it's uh, one thing at a time. So, yeah, just kind of a quick recap on that. But, um, but back on to this real fast. You know, bumpers, front clip, try to get the door off. Everything stripped interior wise this year Put it all in totes and tubs and Then I guess next year alongside the others just to See what we can get done alongside everything else So yeah Pretty much beating a dead horse on this video really hate doing that but we're kind of caught with our thumbs in a place because I've been busy, he's been busy, again, it just, uh, lots, like I said, a lot of stuff we want to talk about, but it's no reason to say it until we get to that point, because it's like, we, hey, you know, this and this, but not that far to really announce it yet on, on the car, so, so yeah, pretty much take this video what you will, just, um, you know, we're just pulling that straw is because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, but keeping it hush hush now. And, and I know how to grow the channel, just gotta get around to it and going from there. Alrighty, so anything you want to add? Because it's just, yeah, well, we want to talk about a lot of things, but a lot of stuff we want to keep quiet until we get to the to the vehicles, you know, this, you know, everything because we don't want to spoil too much. So just pretty much, um, just want to say one last final look at all of them. Old. No, well, the, the first the lineup, yeah, the the stuff yeah. that we're Trying to the lineup until this coming week, until things start start coming to fruition at long last. Uh, Cherry Bomb Victoria was supposed to be this week, but stuff got in the way. Um, oh, real fast, like our relative's going to keep an eye out for fenders for the 58 biscayne oh, yeah. he says that he sees them all the time at swap meets i told him i'm not worried about a hood just fenders and wheel wells so possibly by month's end i will have uh front fenders and wheel wells for the 58 biscayne so which means once i move everything um that 66 parts car will be moved over here and it will uh, get scrapped I'll take it off the frame and uh, just pretty much strip it all the way down, flip it over, and then dig out the rails on the side for the frame for the Biscayne. And uh, yeah. Now you find uh, a good spot to put that 56 crown over there so I take it, take it off the frame. Yeah, I know a spot, but uh, I have to clear out the stickers because that'll have to be next year. So. But yeah, like I said, we're pulling at straws with this video, kind of a last minute thing. Yeah, we got cars and, to part out too, so we can work on the other stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that ha that's gonna be, that's will now actually be happening. No, Not will, it's just just up. now. So, yeah. Another 56 over there needs to be cut up for that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, take this video as what you will. I know it sucks. Again, it just just a busy week but now since i am 100 percent free again things can move on to a type of phase two get stuff rolling from there so anything you want to add try to pull some straws out and beat a dead horse a little bit more or we're good <laughs> i can't do until i actually get some time because i like to get that jaguar right there going too mm -hmm. that's simple Yep, and he's going to have more time on his hands on the weekends to do stuff, so that'll be a good thing. So you'll actually see us together more working on whatever. Because I'll do a lot of our stuff during the week and whatever project that he wants to focus on on a Saturday or even a Friday. I'll, we'll do that there and probably make a side video for like a Wednesday. Short, a lot of shorts will be coming back. There hasn't been much, but I'll bring up more informational uh, shorts about cars and parts. And comparisons and uh, so I'll mainly use the shorts for 
is for informational stuff and comparisons and stuff about the cars and everything while the videos will be for builds and whatever else but also too it may vary we'll find out so alrighty we shall catch you all later sorry for this video just kind of sucking it's just uh um it's just one of those weeks again but now it'll be you know, things are free up and stuff and just yeah just been a long week in general so alrighty anything else just okay all right we'll catch you all later y'all have a good one i'll take care and stay safe see you later Thanks again for your support.